communities we contributed land for mining which harbors large deposits of materials as precious metals but even though that is the case we are still finding ourselves there's no partners even key decisions are taken by the mine bosses without meaningful participation of those deep communities. Before the men came into the village, the communities relied on the streams, water from the streams, the river, and the boreholes. But then there is mining. There is mining which is mining underground. So that water is no longer coming out from the streams. The, the boreholes and the streams are dry since the, the drilling of uh, the mining underground is taking away the water. violent protests and riots when artisanal miners are denied access to mining sites. Uh, we see that um, the DRC security forces are expelling artisanal miners from industrial mining sites and those uh, expulsion campaigns are off to a very large scale. They involve violence, uh, they involve destruction of artisanal miners' houses, etc. And sometimes they also involve security forces entering the local communities uh, where uh, people who might not even necessarily might live.
la RDC aujourd'hui a des réserves, comme vous l'avez souligné, a des minéraux capables d'aider le monde entier à aller vers sa transition énergétique. Alors, cela signifie pour la RDC d'abord qu'il y a une opportunité pour la RDC d'avoir des capitaux. Mais pour que la RDC devienne réellement un pays solution et que cette économie verte profite euh, aux populations congolaises, il faut qu'on développe une stratégie euh, de gestion, une gestion qui soit bien euh, mesurée. En tout cas, la RDC ne manque pas de bonnes lois. La RDC ne manque pas de bonnes politiques. Nous avons de très bonnes politiques en matière minière. Mais il se fait que ces bonnes politiques ne sont pas en application. Et l'inquiétude, c'est la faible capacité de l'État congolais à faire appliquer toutes ces bonnes politiques. to talk about the lithium triangle because 56% of the world's lithium deposits are in this region that covers part of Bolivia, Argentina, and Chile with the U Russian invasion of Ukraine and the extreme shortage of fossil fuels paired with legislative changes, there's an even greater urgency now to switch over to greener and cleaner energy. And that's where lithium comes in. one of the only countries that has a legal framework to make this possible. It's a legal framework that includes uh, the consideration of water as a basic human right. The other concept that is crucial here is what Bolivians call social control, which is a grassroots oversight that is part of the Bolivian constitution. Bolivian social movements, Bolivian communities, Bolivian indigenous groups are very highly educated, are very politically active. They are allowed oversight of processes. They have the right to be consulted and very frequently they protest and take direct action. The law of Mother Earth creates some other fundamental guarantees, including reserving the right for mineral extraction for the Bolivian state and limiting the involvement of private enterprise. 